Oh well, let's get to the commander. Please tell me he's up. Can I gain entrance? You again, what is it? I need to speak with the commander. You missed him. He'll be down in the harbor until this evening. Are you shitting me? I went the entire fucking way here and he isn't even here. Alright, so I need to go down over to the gatekeeper, I suppose, and show me my papers and whatnot, and actually get down there. Hey, at least this is starting to pick up a little. It is just the endless fetched quest. The story is actually moving onwards, at least a little. Might as well see if I can get an upgrade while I'm here. I'm gonna get all those handkerchiefs. <laughs> the handkerchiefs are belong to me. Oh shit, that might not have been the best thing in the world. You didn't see anything. Exactly. <laughs> Look, Vitale, a mouse dressed as a guard. There's gotta be a name for that. Hey, a traitor. Uh, sorry, I haven't yet been able to get that whistle. Don't prefer to get your paws dirty. Okay, do I need to go talk to Gusto perhaps? Keep trying. Oh, come on, I want upgrades. Oh, well, I suppose. Back up and to the gatekeeper, it is. Noggin top. Mr. Gatekeeper, I presume? Main gate guard. Halt! The main gate is shut by order of the commander. Nobody's allowed in or out. Why is the gate locked? Jailer's missing. The keep's on lockdown till he's found. I'm due to leave tonight. All leave is cancelled until further notice. This gate is closed until the commander says otherwise. Okay, so essentially I did waste my time. That is just absolutely what I needed right now. Oh well, I'll go to bed and then I'll go to sleep and then I'll wake up and then I'll go over to him again and I am seeing something right here. Gold nugget. Still don't know what this hook is all about. But I guess I'll find out later. <laughs> so, go up, go to bed, wake up again, and go to the commander's office, I suppose.
so much time and effort into actually going asleep when I was told that I couldn't get to the commander until morning. And then I activate this quest and it's just like, you know what? <laughs> Change of rules. You can't see him until it's evening. That really pissed me off. Guess I'll sleep for four hours. That should hopefully be enough. It is really dark. But we are probably going to see the commander. Is there anything else that I should be aware of? Head to the west gate, descending to the catacombs beneath the keep in search of treasure. That's the part I'm not getting, I think. Should I go to the commander before or should I just head to the west gate? I guess I'll go to the commander to the commander first because I think that is on the way. I do believe so. Excuse me, fellow rat guard. Just taking a stroll. Taking a stroll to see the commander and hopefully he'll let me in. Otherwise I might just as well head to the west gate immediately and just not give a crap about the commander at the moment. I swear to god if I can't see the commander now I might just flip shit. Can I do something scow? I need to speak with the commander. Oh my god, I hate you. Dude, all this going back and forth. Jesus. I think I've gone sort of that exact route like 50 times at the very least during the entire game so far. Somewhere around 50 times I want to say. It is a little dark. So let's have some light. If you won't let me through now, then I I cannot be held accountable for my actions. Where do you think you're going? I, I left my sword at home. You'll have to borrow one then. Until the jailer is found, this gate says close. Oh, for heaven's sake. I'm just kind of curious, is this actually the west gate? Um, Mera, yada yada yada. Jail map, here we go. Yeah, that's the jail, alright. Courtyard map. So, is this not the West Gate then? Four towers, sewers. Oh, huh, I can look at it. It is so ordered by the... <clears throat> it is so ordered by the garrison commander of... At Dinlen Heights. That first signal guard Silas Wagstaff descend into this tower keep to assess the severity of the arachnid infestation. Lay traps and place poison bait. Salary is paid as time and a... At time and a half. Doubling in the event of permanent injury and tripling for loss of limbs. In the event of death, all conversation shall be forfeit and used to offset funeral costs. I mean, that, that's fair enough. But still though... 
west gate descending to the catacombs beneath the keep. And I need to wait till sunrise. If only there was one more bed around, I could really use that now. attempt going to Silas one more time, wait until sunrise and I swear to god if if I can't get access to to that guy's place then I am I am gonna flip shit that's what I'm gonna do I am gonna flip shit so goddamn hard that they will be like who the hell is this rat and then it just might remove my armor and figure out holy crap it's a mouse we have all been fooled and then I'm just most likely gonna be beheaded or something and well that will be the end of <laughs> this tale and then it will be quite the ghost of a tale pun intended and it all comes around and goes around full circle I'm decently sure they said sun rise, not sun down. So sleep until sunrise it is. That should be sunrise. Okay, a little fall damage. But I'm good. Please, for the love of goodness, let me speak with him. not be in my line of sight. Thank you. Alright, Mr. Commander, you better fucking be in and you better freaking let me inside please just a pretty please shouldn't you be on watch scow I need to speak with the commander thank fuck commander loyal scow has arrived Anything I can <laughs> just, just grab stuff while he's looking because I'm that freaking bold. Can I open this? Yes, I can. Not 
not gonna be taking that one quite yet. Just curious if he's got something of value. Well, not necessarily. <clears throat> the pantaloons, eh? I might just be going off here later and taking some stuff. Not an impossibility. Coastal status report, I'll take that. Seems like it could be some useful reading. Incident log. Private Harf, given two days in jail for not wearing his full armor in the courtyard. Private Angar, struck and brained by falling drawbridge after windbreak failed. Mechanism still unstable. Private Gaff, left addled by a falling barrel. Private Jewel, wager two florins he could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. Oh dear. Private Scree, taken by spiders in the lower levels. Private Pakov, slipped and fell on a broken jar of snail slime. <laughs> Private Snorl, drunk on duty, assigned to, this, to the screaming gate for one week. Private Flack, struck and knocked insensible by a flying bottle. Private Niels, charged with theft of official documents and remanded to the, to the cells. All right then. Guess I'll <laughs> I'll have to mine myself. Yeah, just taking stuff right in front of your nose, quite literally, and you don't even bat an eye. Ah, scow is it? Isn't it? Um, private scow, sir. Hey, you're even smaller than the say. <laughs> Remain silent, just like, how dare you offend me? Sword and stature, but not courage, sir. Indeed. Welcome then to Dwindling Heights. Is it not Dwindling Heights, sir? No, no, it's a common misconception. A local colloquialism, if you will. I have not seen that word before. You might be interested to learn that the keep is named for the warrior Dwindlin, hero of the War of the Green Flame and, I'm proud to say, an ancestor of mine. You are a descendant of the hero Dwindlin? On my father's side, it's nothing really. It, it's said that Dwindlin himself is laid to rest in the catacombs beneath this keep. And that on a clear moonlit night, his ghost can be seen still roaming these halls. The keep is haunted, sir? So many have claimed thirty years. Strange, in all this time, he's never visited me. <laughs> and that just says what kind of opinion he has about you then. Is that a loot you're carrying there? Hey sir, is it a problem? May I see it? The loot? Of course sir, here. The commander inspects the loot, turning it over in his paws. It is a beautiful instrument. The top strings a little flat. I'm something of a musician myself. <laughs> I love these portraits, they are... <laughs> they just give it so much more character. The dialogue. I can tell, sir. Now, I have an assignment for you. Me, sir? You, sir. There's something that haunts this garrison, Scow. But nay. It is no ghost, but a shadow of some sinister cabal that looms heavy over it. You're new here, and the only one I can trust. Really? That's an interesting way to put it, but okay, if it's in my benefit then sure, whatever you say. Our jailer, Tyrus Volker, is missing, neither seen nor heard from since the last blood moon. A journal was found in his chambers. It describes a band of smugglers operating out of this keep, led by some miscreant known as the Master. If what's written here is true, it would appear that as many as five members of this garrison are involved. I want you, Scow, to identify these five smugglers. Find out what has become of the Jailer, and unmask this so-called Master. 
This is a delicate business, Skull. I expect you to exhibit the utmost discretion. I suggest you begin your investigation at the forge. I have a feeling the smithy knows most everything that goes on around here. Would make sense he would have to keep quite the eye on his client's hell. Um... <laughs> and if I fail, I'll have you stripped of your armor and thrown in jail. <laughs> and by incident, that rhymed. But I have every faith in you, Scow. The jailer, you think he's still in the, up in the keep, sir? That is for you to find out, private. Um, I'm afraid he's murdered. Murdered? You certain? I discovered his body at the bottom of the well. And you didn't think to say anything? Well, I would have been able to say anything to you if you would, if if you first of all wouldn't have been outside the keep and second of all wouldn't have been so picky about your visiting hours. Sir, I found him just before you summoned me here. What evidence have you of this? <laughs> evidence? He has a knife in his back, sir. Here, sir. I have the jailer's obol. Th this is his blood. Thank you, Scow. Sir, should I continue my investigation into this matter? No, no. Leave it with me, Private. Rest assured, the killer will be brought to justice. Now. I'm grateful, Scow, for your assistance in this matter. I'd like to do something for you in return. What did you have in mind, sir? Well, let's see now. Your armor, Scow, is rather ill-fitting, isn't it? I mean, look at you. You can barely walk in it. <laughs> I see you have noticed. I can have this smith take... I can have this smith make some adjustments if you like. Shave off some weight, that would be absolutely fantastic. Cut down the folds, retail the greaves, so you can move more freely. That would be very appreciated, sir. Oh, and I should have him brief you about the traps, given all the problems we're having with spiders. But one thing at a time, eh? Now. The commander takes a sheet of paper and his quill pen. Beginning to write, after signing his name, he folds the paper into thirds and seals it with wax before passing it to you. Take this to the smithy. He'll know what to do with it. <laughs> if only the commander knew that he was standing right and freaking mouse. I mean, even if he wasn't able to tell by looking, <laughs> either he lost his sense of smell a long time ago or he just isn't... He just doesn't know what a mouse smells like. Okay... I'm kinda curious. What do you know, sir, about Silas, the signal guard? Silas Wagstaff? Why do you ask? Just part of my inquiry, sir. I'm glad just to see you're being so thorough. He's a good soldier. Con Conscientious, disciplined, tends to keep to himself. Likes a drink or two now and again, but who among us doesn't? He was demoted a few years back. Some incident in the north, if I remember correctly. One curious thing. He requested his transfer to this garrison. Gave out quite a comfortable post, I believe. Interesting. I am curious if he has got any other requests for me, so yeah. Play for me, Scow. Play anything. Surprise me. Heaven in a bottle, let's do that one. The waves may crash, the ship may sink, and every one of us might drown. The pirates call the sea the drink, so raise the glass and as we go down. With thunder crabs we'll have a tipple, and seal the fish king's pearly cup. With shapely mermaids who wet our whistle, 
till top is down and bottoms up. I like your song of choice, Scow. Or choice of song, whatever. Have you ever thought about singing professionally, Scow? On occasion, sir. Don't. Wow. <laughs> Way to be an ass about it. I should get on, sir, with your permission. Of course, of course. Oh, Scow. You know, my door is always open to you. Metaphorically speaking, of course. The garrison is stretched rather thin at the moment, personnel-wise. I can't guarantee I'll always be here in my office. Afternoons, you'll find me down in the Harbor Master's office. We all have to muck in where we can. The Harbor Master's office, sir? Ah, you've not ventured down to the harbor yet. I believe the west gate is closed at the moment, sir. Of course, the spiders. Well, we'll have to make sure you get the grand tour at some point. Carry on. And just like that, we... have done something. <laughs>